Alrighty, today we have a tips and tricks video. If you want me to give you tips and tricks, leave your street for the name in the comments below. Also, today we're doing the feel my energy. I'm so I'm so happy he's using Ken. <laughs> I'm so happy. Mm, okay, that's the first thing. You need to practice hit confirming. Cause that you're you're negative twelve. Every time you do the standing medium kick, the second one, you're always gonna get punished. Like you're about to get punished right now. There we go, that's what I'm talking about with the hit confirms. Okay, need need a better DI combo. Cause you could have gotten way more damage. Okay, combos. We we need some combos here. That's okay, cause you were DIing him a lot, but they were hitting, so I don't mind you going for another DI. That was, uh, I would say, a good DI, cause if you hit this DI, you just win the game. But he counts. Right? So that's okay. That's not a big deal. Nice reaction. Good reactions, though. Good reaction. Nice. Okay, so you okay, so you do know the setups. You do know the setups. You just didn't do it that one time. Okay. Oh, with the shimmy too. See right here. This is the second time you do. This happens to you though, right here. You get the knockdown. You dash up and then you jump and you put yourself in the corner. That's now the second time that that happened to you. The first one you did it was after Tatsu. So you did one dash and then you jumped and then you put yourself in the corner. No, don't. Whenever you hit him with the DI, don't do that medium kick combo, please. The target combo. It's not good. You're not getting good damage. It's not a safe jump. He can still DP you right here. Oh, the confirmed <laughs> that was actually sick. How's this? How's this? Be careful doing Dragon Lash too too much. Cause I see you're using it a lot to skip neutral, which is good. It's okay. But just be careful doing it too much in the same game versus the same person. Same thing with DI. Even though it is working, just be careful doing it too too much. If it's working, keep doing that. But that's my rule, alright? So this is not this combo. You're missing out on so much damage. You gotta watch out for the, those medium kicks right there. Yes, yes, DI, heavy DI. Do it. Do heavy DI. Yes, win. Could have been more optimal, but I got you. Oh yeah, that Dragon Lash is not plus. So after you EX, pretty much never EX a Dragon Lash. Unless you're just trying to get more damage to get the round away. Yow, yow, stop with the combo, you had the game. Dragon Lash, this is about the third time you whiff the Dragon Lash. You get a... Slow down and not uh, Dragon Lash full screen because you're whiffing the Dragon Lash. Oh my G, bitch. What a round win. <laughs> that was crazy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bro, cha -cha. We don't do this out here. <laughs> we don't do that. When people wake up, you do not DP. When they wake up. Because. Seven times out of ten, they're gonna wake up a block. And then full punish. He missed the punish, but once you get higher ranks, they're not gonna miss the punish. No. Yes. No. no. Throw EX, throw EX, burn him. Throw your EX fireball. No, he got five. You waited so long. You waited so long. You actually had him burn out. He's burnt. Yes. 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 Thank you. Alrighty. There's a, a couple things. But the biggest, biggest things is, in my opinion, 
these medium kicks right here. Because they are blocking them, and you're still doing the second hit with your negative 12. They are going to punish every single time because you are negative 12 after this. A way to practice hit confirming is go to practice and then go to block and hit random. And if it hits, you're going to continue the string. And if it doesn't hit, you're just going to block. It's a good way to practice. Practice this for maybe like 2-3 minutes, not too, too much. Because we don't want this to be solely your gameplay. Another thing, if you are going to use this kicks, usually do it for with punishing. Right? Punish counter. So that's what I use that for. You know, you could also do this one and all that, but the the medium is way easier to do. You know, get the combo plus the punish counter. And people with it. Right there, do this combo instead. It takes practice. This DI combo does take practice. But practice it, it is huge. You also do have to input the light DP. The easy way to input light DP in the combo is forward, down, and then forward again. So your thumb never moves. Your thumb never moves. See this? My, my thumb is not moving. With kind of like the tip of the thumb, you're going forward. And then with the rest of the thumb, you're going down. And then you're going back forward. Right? So you're just putting your thumb down and lifting it back up. And that's the DP shortcut. So practice that. And then if you really can't get that down, then just do just do generate kicks. It's still more damage than this right here. Alright, the third thing I wrote down was Tatsu setup. Which you pretty much know them, like double dash into grab. I didn't even double dash there. And you also know the double dash into light in case they wanna check the grab. But one thing that you did do was dash jump, and that's not that's not a type of setup. They could DP you there. They could anti you, they could move forward and now you're in the corner now. So I would recommend not doing that one. And there's also a heavy generate setup that you can also get if they do decide to wake up Nash as well. Oops, you gotta do the generate though. Just like that. And if you do have it on point, you do get a combo after. So, huge, you get a combo. That's a setup. You can also do the run overhead, but it's like it's a super weird timing. You could go for it, but yeah, like right there, I just got it, but it's weird timing. And yeah, those setups, just no dash and then jump. Cause that's not a real setup after Tatsu. Combos, you're doing, you're doing this, which is good. It's not bad. So you can get another heavy and then continue with the medium to get more damage. But like you're doing, you're doing this. Usually, to the level thing. Usually, which is good. This is also CS, just better than mine. But we're at 43. Just with the extra heavy and two than the mediums, you get 500 more damage. Just doing heavy into heavy and then doing the medium. Instead of just that, heavy, drag fresh heavy, medium. And then you could do whatever you want. You could do it again, but this, just do one medium if you're gonna do another drag fresh. Right? And then you get big explosive damage. Hmm. Also, if you're gonna stun someone and do a game winning combo, make sure you jump first to get the extra damage. Amazing. Just make sure you get that jump heavy attack 
first when you stun someone, okay? That's really huge. And I didn't wanna do like too many things, cause I, like your gameplay is a lot. Stand back, you don't can, and then drag last. So be careful. It, it happened a lot for the Ed. Then you dragon lash and then they whiff you you whiff in their face with the dragon lash and they cooked. Be careful with that. You do have a nice little setup. They do Hidoken and then and then you dragon lash to get the distance closer. Also, be careful behind too much because as you rank up, people will start noticing and downloading that you're DI and they would just literally sit here and wait for you to DI to counter your DI. And once you get all these things down, this is like a maybe when you reach a diamond you start getting to this. This is a punish counter into low medium into draft rush and to down heavy into your cancel run stance into combo. Right, you could start getting into this once you fix everything else so far. This would be this is like the last on the list. Right, and then you could uh continue combos as well. And look cool, right? You could look like an actual Ken Master out there, you understand? But yeah. Again, this is the last of the list. Don't prioritize this right now, prioritize everything else. And then this event. 